Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. Well, in this lecture, we will talk about for loop. For loop is often very convenient than while loop because of its structure. For loop is very easy to construct. In while loop and do while loop has a common pattern of initialization, expression and statement. We first initialize the variable and then evaluate expression and execute statement. The same way for loop also executed. But there is one difference in for loop is you can initialize variable and also specify expression and increment and decrement variable value on the one line. So let's understand for loop using syntax. So the syntax of for loop start from for and in the parenthesis we will first specify initialization semicolon expression semicolon and then specify increment or decrement operator after that specify your statement we will start for loop using for keyword and in the parenthesis we specify initialization expression and increment or decrement operator so we will first initialize the variable with the value and specify semicolon after initialization after that we'll specify expression and specify semicolon at the end of the expression and then specify increment and decrement after that we will specify our statement which we wanted to execute if the value of the expression is true then the statement will execute it keep in mind that every loop execute its statement only if the value of expression returns true otherwise the execution of the loop will terminate it using the example you will get complete understanding of for loop so let's take an example so we will print a 0 to 4 number on the console using for loop so we specify for in the parenthesis we first initialize the variable so i will say let count is equal to 0 then specify semicolon don't forget to specify semicolon after each expression right then we specify count is less than 5 semicolon and then specify increment or decrement operator so I will say count plus plus I am using increment operator here just after that I will specify my statement so I will say console.log and in the parenthesis I will specify number in the double quote and concatenate count value right now the important thing is don't forget to specify semicolon before and after the expression now when you execute this example you will get a 0 to 4 number on the console looping is executed just like a while loop but we just initialize a variable specify condition and increase the count value on the single line the difference between while and for loop is structure right let me first explain how for loop works when you specify for loop it will first create a variable count and specify value 0 to that variable after that it will check if the value of count variable is less than 5 or not if it is returning true then the body of the statement is executed so you will get 0 on the console after that for loop will increase the size of the variable using increment or decrement operator we had used increment operator so the value of the count variable will increase by 1 so now you have 1 in the count variable so the for loop will go at the top and again evaluate expression with the new count value so it will check if 1 is less than 5 or not if the expression returns true then the body of the statement is executed and increment the value of the count variable again so the for loop execute the same pattern again and again till the expression of the for loop become false so when the value of the count variable become 5 the expression will return false because 5 is not less than 5 right so let me first explain the steps of execution pattern first 
for loop will initialize variable with its value. Second, for loop will evaluate expression before moving to the statement. If the expression is false, then for loop will terminate it. If expression returns true, then the for loop follow third step. Third, for loop will execute statement in the third step. You can also use compound statement to execute multiple statement one by one. And the fourth and the last step is for loop will increase or decrease the value of the variable by one using increment and decrement operator. After that, for loop will go at the top again and skip the initialization step because we already initialized the variable. So for loop will move to the next step and evaluate expression. Then it will move to the third step and then move to the fourth step. So it will evaluate expression, then execute statement and then increase the value of the count variable. So the for loop follow the execution pattern repeatedly till the expression returns false. You can specify multiple variables also in the initialization step and also specify multiple expression and increment and decrement operators. For example, now we have a multiple variables. So we'll say for let i is equal to zero comma j is equal to five and specify semicolon. Then we specify condition i is less than five semicolon and specify i plus plus comma j minus minus. So we use increment and decrement operator at the same time. And in the compound statement, we specify console.log to print i and j variable value. I will specify i plus in the double quote, we specify and and to concatenate j value i will specify plus here and specify j variable now in this example we declare two variables i and j and specify 0 and 5 value after that we'll check if i is less than 5 or not if this expression return true then we will execute console.log method and print i variable value and j variable value on the console you can also see we use increment and decrement operator to i and j variable. So when you execute this code, you will get 0 to 4 number value of the i variable and 5 to 1 value of j variable on the console. So we had increased the value of the variable i and decreased the value of the variable j, right? That's it. We completed our for loop. Now. In the next tutorial, we will explore nested for loop. Nested for loop is very helpful for accessing multidimensional array data. I hope you understand the basic concept behind the for loop. That is all for now. We will see you in the next lecture.